due to the only video on the whole of YouTube showing you how to do this is in pissing French. Et vous arrivez sur la page de Donc vraiment cool. Moi, je I can imagine quite a few of you will be wanting this video. So here's how you download mods for Transport Fever 2 from the internet. The first thing you want to do is load up Transport Fever 2, press settings and then go to advanced and then press open user data folder. Once you've got that, you can press cancel and then exit Transport Fever 2 and then you can just minimize this for the time being. We're going to go to the internet now and we're going to go to this website called transportfever.net and then we're going to go press on downloads. Once you're here, you'll see it says Transport Fever 2, Transport Fever, Trained Fever and General Downloads. We're going to go to Transport Fever 2. Now the one that I'm going to show you will be under Means of Transport because I can imagine that's where most of you are going to want to get your mods from. But of course, if you do want to get maps and save games and stuff like that, you can also go down to this one. It's the exact same process, it's just I'm going to be showing you on Means of Transport. So you have all the categories underneath, all the different folders full of different mods. I'm going to go, let's just choose this one here, the 030T Boa by the looks of it. it. Looks very French, could be wrong. Yeah, it is French. And we're going to go ahead and download this. Now to download this, you can scroll down here, you can see there's some more screenshots. But to actually install this, it's simply press this button up here that says download. Once you press download, you'll see at the top of your screen, it might be a little bit different for you because I'm using Opera GX, but I know a lot of you guys use Google Chrome or you use Microsoft Edge. It's pretty, it will always be at the top, so you'll see it. But you can see here, it's all downloaded. It says show in folder. I'm going to press this button here. It says show in folder or something similar for you guys. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to press copy. You can also press Control C. It's a very useful tool to have. And now we're going to switch back to our file we had open earlier uh, in our user data. We're going to double click on mods and we're going to right click and we're going to paste. And once you've done that, right click on the folder and press extract here. Now you guys might have something different. Uh, you might have like down here you want to extract with like 7-zip or you want to extract with the, the built-in Windows one. So you can just press extract here or something similar. So we should have after this the folder called the same name but now it's unzipped. So we have all the mod uh, code and stuff. It's all in here. And we can see here if I go and press now on source, you will now have Steam, Good Shepherd Entertainment's built-in mods, and you will now have user mods. I'm going to press enable mod, which is just here, or you can double click. Okay, so as you can see, here's the train working perfectly fine. 